Hello and welcome to Match Point MotoGP 22 career mode. We're into the penultimate round of the Moto 3 season. Just to rejog everyone's memory, we lead 36 points over Dennis Foggia, two races, 50 points up for grab. What is. I don't like this. 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 Hello and welcome back to some more MotoGP 22. Now today is match point in the first season of Career Mode. We have two rounds left. We lead Dennis Fadja by 36 points. Of course, 50 points on the table. It is still doable for Fadja. I need to lose less than 11 points than I gain. That makes no sense. Hello and welcome back to another brand new episode of MotoGP 22 Career Mode. Now today is match point. We are off to Sepang, the penultimate round. We lead the championship by 36 points. We need to score at least a handful of points today if Fadja wins to be champion. It pretty much is in the bag. It would take a calamitous weekend, two weekends for Fadja to win this one. Um, Still no Moto2 offers. Getting a little bit worried. Not going to sugarcoat it. Thankfully, after Valencia, we have a nice few weeks there where hopefully finishing so high in the championship might give me a nice boost and Motor 2 teams will come running. But for now, we have a job to do. Off to Malaysia we go. So I'm a bit pushed for time today. I don't have as long as I'd like to record. So I only did the one lap in practice and hoping that I'd be quick enough to get through. I'm two and a half seconds quicker than they've gone all weekend. Don't know why or how. Or if that's accurate. I presume they'll be quicker in qualifying. These are all simulated times. So you never know what their actual pace is like on track. But that guarantees us to go straight through to Q2. Which means we're stopping in the top 18. So. Again. Weird glitchy times. Kind of ruins the immersion. Two and a half seconds. I did one lap. By no means was it the fast several lap of. Sepang and a Mother 3 bike. So I don't know. But anyway we're going to jump into qualifying. And see can we replicate it and go for pole. Out of the final corner we come. We're on a pretty good streak of qualifying at the front of the grid. So we're going to try and keep that up the best we can. For all time now we need to pull out a brilliant qualifying. This would be it. Art gas down the racing line. Like that was not ideal because I, I broke up. I broke up. I broke early because I was expecting him to cut across me. We're going to go for a switch back. Oh I double shifted. Art Gas is ruining my qualifying lap. I'm just getting a sketch around him. Give me a bit of a slipstream though. Bit of a good run on him, but I don't know how strong I am with the brakes in here. I'll move across him. Oh, he's going to come back to me. I'm going to release the front brake. Why is it always the CF Moto bikes that battle me on my qualifying laps? It was Tate and Mizano, I think. I'm going to just slide up the inside. Small bit of contact. Bad exit, to be brutally honest. At least we have Slipstream, even though it's not that strong. So just about, yeah, I'm starting to pull him in now. We broke much later than him. He's in my way again. Went to first, going to try and square him off. Drift right over into his Slipstream again. 2.11.8, so we're two times quicker than practice. If the practice times are right, we should have pole by a long, long way. Pole position, 2.7 seconds. We might just run away and dominate this race and become world champion. So I've gone medium front hard rear. Everyone around me is going hard, 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 hard. Arctic ass with a soft. Again, lots of hards. Everyone seems hard on the rear, bar a couple of outliers. So yeah, it's the hard tires. It's going to be a long hot race if it was actually realistic Why? look why are we all running off track what's going on in the background this game is broken what look what is going on here that's exactly the warm-up lap i need on a championship winning potentially day it's me finish line let's go oh we actually spun up the hard rear small bit might have just noticed the rear end kicked a bit sideways but a stay literally down the white line Touching limiter in fifth. We're going to do our best to disappear. I'm not really sure what a hard tire is going to feel like around here. 
It's a bit like Phillip Island where oh, we just threw that in on the front end. Was crashes further back. Fed Fadja is still in P2 though. Oh, look at the gap. We pulled already. I'm not going to speak too soon yet. Oh, Christ. But I've ridden only medium and, hard, medium and soft tires all weekend, so what I was saying, getting back to the tires, I don't know how hard rear would feel or hold up tire wise. And I don't, to be brutally honest, don't believe the AI have the same physics and tires as I do, so I could be massively slow in the race and have huge tire wear. We'll see. Don't want to be on that curb because you can easily crash. Very good opening sector, but they're pegging me back. Still just trying to get into speed, full tank fuel. A lot on the line in this race. Front feels flaky through that corner, just wants a roll. Crash. Yellow flag, no. We don't really need to win this race. I'll say a 1 2 on win, a 1 to win the championship with a race victory, do it in style. But we just need to pretty much finish top 10. Hope Fodge doesn't win. But when Fodge is in P2. We're going to just try and do our best to stay ahead of him. It's a good exit, but he's taken about a second out of me. I really opened up a gap in turn one and two, and he's really pulled it back now. So maybe it's going to be a race of two halves again, a bit like Thailand. We're strong in two sectors, they're strong in the other sectors. I have zero front end feel in that final corner. Every time I tip in, it feels like the bike is just going to tip over. It's very scary. Not very nice. Gap back to a second. Rear tire already pretty worn. Oh, again, I have so much vibration, I can't tell if it's from the rear or the front. All I can tell is I don't have much rear grip. Gap is staying pretty constant, so I reckon I'm not going to have it all my own way. Not without finding some serious pace. Sorry. Just deafen the earphone users. I turn in, touch too early. Took a bit of curb. And scared the bejesus out of myself. Arctic Ass into P2. Legend. They're bringing the train though, so it does look like this hard tire is... Killed my pace, them fucking curbs. Hello, Javier. We're gonna go defensive, make Fadji do the long way. We're gonna go lay it on the brakes. I'm gonna get T bombed. Oh, he's thankfully not. But look at the big dark line we left out of the back from the front end. We have a battle on, which is scary because I could be taken out at any moment here. Of course, again, I can feel the front just chattering the way. These slightly colder conditions are not suited to me. Oh, curb. I'm okay, going to leave them go if they want that line. And they do my own line. That Honda gets out of the corner quite nicely, I'll give it that. I'm trying to bend around to get the slipstream. Only good thing is I know I'm strong into the last corner. If it does come to us. Oh, hello, Dennis. This is the man we need to beat. So currently, as it sits, we are going to be champion. So it's not the end of the world. Look at that Honda. Nice panoramic view. Oh, am I going to send it? I'm not. I'm going to be good. Hopefully, the AI are going to be good. Fucking hell. Leaning into me like that. The front went. Again, Jesus, like. Come on. Of course, Tatsuki Suzuki. Oh, thankfully, he's a crash. I can get away now. But Suzuki, he's not going to show any quarter because he wants. He's been paid the big bucks, I'd say, to get me out of this race. Honest to God, I have so little confidence in this front end. It is absolutely scary. 
Oh, I have a sneaky feeling here that this is not going to go my way today. Needs to take at least 11 points off me, if not more. At the moment, it probably isn't. He's on 20, I'm on about 10. <gasps> that curb scares me every lap. That's a bad run through there. Alright, we need to get into a rhythm. Sorry, no, Gavir, but you're getting absolutely lifted off that apex. Of course, I have absolutely no drive, so I'm going to cut back underneath you. You're probably going to lean on me now, aren't you? Oh, stop that. That is disgraceful. Look at the corner speed and apex speed you have is not fair at all. Okay, look, I'm going to just kind of cut underneath you. I can't take your wonky line into this corner either. I'm going to try it, though. Mino! Oh, Jesus, like, look at this game. Okay, championship is off the table today because of these fuckwits. Jesus, to punt at each other left, right, and center. This hard rear tire has. Zero performance, I should have just went with medium. I'm so far off my own pace just because I can't get near them. The way they're riding. I set my personal best lap. I looked around 211.7, so that's faster than when they're qualifying. Don't understand how they're doing it now and they didn't have that pace all weekend. Again, I are an absolute mystery. What even was that like? They just have no spatial awareness, no respect for anything else. They're just set on their own tracks and you have to kind of avoid them. I really hope with the more powerful bikes in Moto2 and MotoGP that they get slightly better, if somewhat a bit more smart or just have some sort of awareness because with these Moto3 bikes they're just so aggressive. I enjoy that they're quick, I like AI that are quick because then I can actually really use my pace and I love to hold back against them. But, uh, not with these guys. These guys are just axe murderers. And the fact that they can cheat and get away with it is the worst part for me. If they can just take these stupid lines, cut you up, and don't have the... Don't have the negatives of a bad exit. We're now in P11, Fodger leads. This is championship off. I really didn't want this championship to have to go to Valencia. I do not like Valencia. As you all probably know, I'm a big Valentino fan. He lost two world titles there in Valencia 2006-2015. Myself, I've lost a couple of titles there, so I have history there. So I didn't want it to come to this. Now, it still mightn't. But... I don't know how many points you get for P10. It's not going to be 14. Oh, we're not getting this stopped. No, Asaki. I could just see him touching the curb. Alright, we're gonna have to send it on Fernandez here. So we're going to leave the brakes off. He'll flag ahead apparently. Oh, front end, come back to me. Good punchy exit. Made a small gap. Again, like the pace is nowhere near what we could do during the race. Oh, Fudge is down to P3. No way we're that silly that. With lots of fuel on board, we're gonna push. Oh, get away. Get in the bin. We're up by quarter of a second in sector one. Good run. We only have two track limit warnings, so we can afford to kind of push the board out this lap and try and bring the scaff down. This actually could do it. This could be enough, this position here. No speak too soon yet. We're a long way from finish. Jesus Christ, what is that downshift? What is that curb? What the hell's going on? Why does this bike feel like a cat? Oh, 
Oh, go on, take a shot out ahead. Oh, jeez, I can't turn in. It just keeps... Oh, I have no rear grip. Get away, Albertosaur. I can hear you. Oh, Tatsuki's just crashed in front. No, Suzuki. Okay, leave me past two. Thank you. What the actual fuck, like? Oh, front is gone. Front was gone. Gonna be P11 at best. Oh, Suzuki, you are a mega, mega bastard for that one. I'm gonna go aggressive into the final corner. Fodge it into P2, of course. Come on, crash, 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 crash. Cut it back. Nah, no, I'm not gonna get the run, am I? I am gaining, but it's not gonna be enough. Oh, Suzuki, you! Ah. So Fodger comes home in P2 in the end. Fast lap of the race goes to him. P11 for me. I'm going to pretty much say it's not enough. Um, we'll see, but I definitely don't think I'm champion. 21 points. Ah, oh, so... Pretty much Suzuki crashing... And pushing himself out of the points, putting me further out of the points, cost me the championship. Well, it cost me this round, but I want to get it done. I do not want to go to Valencia. I have 21 points. Surely I can get that across the line, but... Ah, uh, that's disappointing. So we only have one week to wait until we get to go to Valencia for the finale. I'm not massively confident. I know I just need to score points. I'll have to... Definitely qualify well, get a good start, and just try and stay out of trouble. But Valencia is one of those tracks. Anything can happen. Now, I have the solid stats. So Fadja has to win. Because even if it comes P2, 21 points is not enough to gain back. He needs the race a win and a no score for me. It's highly likely I'll win this. But it's not definite. I could easily get taken out. Fadja could easily disappear and have one of those races where he just clocks out and never seen. So I'm still quite uneasy. We'll have a look at the other championships while we're here. Moto 2 should be already done. Oh, no, Sam Lowe's can also still win it. Moto GP is now. That would go back and come back, but it pretty much is Peko's championship. I'm still so impressed with Brad Binder coming home in P3 there. Well, he's not confirmed there yet. Marcus can still rob him. To be that high up on a KTM, big props to him. But we're going to leave it there for today. One more episode left in the Moto3 Championship. I'm going to be nervous until that race is over. So thank you for tuning in today. Hope you have enjoyed and I'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.